WJBW is made possible by Sausage. Stick one in your mouth. Hey, all you racists out there, you should not be listening to our show because we do not like you. Check your show. Next. Bob Leamy is the one guy that I know that has a, a drill bit big enough to uh, do a big, nice boreal at any truck stop he goes to. You're very silly. You know that. A silly man. Oh, yeah. nope, nope. Fastest man to woman. That's what we're going to do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I don't listen to some of our podcasts. There is flat. <laughs> Maybe that's where it's at. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Oh, you know, some people are into that. Now there's a website. Fucking asinine. Some shit like some that. Shit you gotta like do that. the Rocky Mountain, Mountain Ride. Right. Right. Big dick. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Uh, 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 uh. What is up, JB Webb? Uh, here it's a Sunday evening. It's a special broadcast. I was just down at Maxine's on Shine. They had this great tribute going to uh, Tom Petty tribute concert. Here was the musical lineup: The Morning Biscuits, John Gallagher, The Mans, Wendy and Steve, The Mojo Two, Dave Hillebrand, Miguel Jose, Our True Boxman. Logan and Venny and Megan Navarro. I think he's playing right now, actually, inside of uh, Maxine's on Shine. So the outside is where we were set up. Uh, I was set up there with Frankie Messina. And the outside uh, stage featured uh, the Lynn Gibson Project, Justin and the Out, Prison Wine, Rocket Fish, Sonar, and Big Ron Betts, uh, who, again, uh, at this time I'm broadcasting, is probably getting up there right now. So uh, there's still time to go out and check out this great event. They're running until 7, 8 o'clock at nighttime. I don't know what it was, but we were asked to come out and help out uh, shine a little bit of love and light uh, onto what they were doing. Basically, uh, the cool part about this for me, uh, I was set up right there next to uh, Frankie Messina, and right next to us was Jim Bronzo. Right around the way was Panther Brunote. And, uh, and then they had this big uh, setup there, as you'll hear, uh, for French fries, wine, and beer, uh, and uh, chicken and waffle, like in this cone. <laughs> This amazing food. Anyway, so uh, we uh, love Maxine's on Shine, uh, one of our greatest uh, sponsors, long, long time, be sponsor long time, and uh, we we just love them. So what I did over there, I wasn't going to compete with the bands, you know, because all those people I just read were playing music outside blaring, and uh, for us to sit there and try to do a talk show right next to them was a little disrespectful to, in my mind. So I thought, let's do this. Let's record little samples, little snippets. So I got about three half an hour snippets here. And in between each one of these snippets, um, I'm actually going to pull a cover track of uh, Tom Petty's uh, that I found online. So it's not necessarily the bands here you're hearing. It's very confusing. I'm doing this live now with pre-recorded content. I know it's very, very, very confusing, but uh, it's all for love. Uh, We appreciate the fact that uh, people (laughs) follow behind what we do and uh, throw some love and support with it. Um, Throughout this whole episode, you'll hear uh, we spoke with Kurt. Uh, we spoke with Maxine, we spoke with Mitch Foster, we spoke with uh, Dizzle Funk, and uh, I, I reconnected with old buddy of mine, Scott Ellis, and uh, who else was there? Man, uh, Dave Mann, Gina Mann, uh, so, uh, and we got to speak with Stephen Crone, uh, one of my longtime buddies, uh, Rocketfish, those guys rocked it, but anyway, the point of all this is we document what goes on here in Orlando the best we can, uh, so this is uh, the way I'm doing this one, with uh, kind of a little bit of live and then pre-recorded content. So let's go ahead and fire up uh, this first uh, one of three half an hour snips we caught out at uh, Maxine's on Shine just earlier today. I'm still confused. Uh, Am I here? uh, JB Webb. No, I'm I'm there. Okay, bye. Outside of Maxine's on Shine, we're in the parking lot. And uh, so are a bunch of other great people because mm-hmm. they're doing this huge uh, Tom Petty 
tribute out here, and I am sitting uh, this week with uh, Frankie Messina as wow. my as my shotgun co-host. Hi, <laughs> how you doing, brother man? Oh my god, what an honor, dude! Of state of the scene, it's uh, amazing to be here with you. State of the scene, uh, oh, I love you, dude. You're also of blanket Orlando. Uh, you're, uh, yeah, you're not uh, just uh, me, not at, just me. At, uh, apartment E. Never mind all that junk, right? I mean, <laughs> Whatever uh, that is. Well, uh, that uh, that kind of is the template, you know, for uh, what I think a lot of creative people do, man. And I've got to give it up to you because you do have a great way of bringing people together um you know this is a great example of it uh you know it's not all you right but nope. the the kind of people that are here they appreciate uh the music of tom petty and i think the spirit of tom petty as well i think tom petty was a pretty yeah. giving guy from what i understood about him right he gave, he gave a lot of, you know maxine told me about that and then i looked it up a little bit and there were a lot of organizations for uh, animals yeah horse farms yeah not, not only people he homeless the homeless meant much uh Music Cares gave him an award, right? Uh, before he before he passed away, uh, God bless Tom Petty and all yeah. his fans. But but it really, those type of musicians and and once they're from Florida, it's so, such an inspiration to such an it's such an it inspiration is. to be able to maybe carry on some of that goodwill because we know Tom Petty was a giving guy what a great musician but this is so no much fun well and that's how I love how you tied this uh, uh, Blanket Orlando together you know because uh, that's what Blanket Orlando has been about for eight years eight years uh, eight seasons wow. of, of giving uh, you know and I love that because this is always I always wanted to kind of turn the JB Reb show the JB Web show into something you know a little bit more you know what I mean? Um, you, 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 you've done you you you're, you're just scratching the surface on on, on your your uh, well, I ten wanna, years, dude. You've been on yeah. This, well, this, I want to do something. You're Papa Do in town. Yeah. Well, you're Papa Podcaster. I want to. We love okay. you. <laughs> I'm a podcast. Uh, Papa P. Papa, Papa Podcaster in your ass. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Papa. Okay. Anyway, oh, no. we are oh, out one here. One Mary down. There's plenty of distractions out here as well. Oh yeah. Uh, what is that? Beautiful a people. French fry hut they have over there uh, is pretty cool. I just had a some fry, French fries. Um, fry hut. You know, I'm looking at the sign of it that says "I love you to the moon" about Maxine, and here comes Stephanie across the parking lot. Because she don't care. Here's a we got a microphone over there if you oh, want to join. No, nobody wants to come Uh-oh. on. All right, but yeah, there she are will. a lot of people around here. Things are happening. It's Maxine's Tom Petty tribute. Uh, and then Pike. over here, uh, next to the French Friars, uh, there's the um, there's the Panther Bruno- Brunotti. Panther Brunotti. How you doing? Oh, hey, how you doing there? You know JB? Hi, guys. Hey. Oh, well, look, I do. Steph, Steph, so you were perfect timing. We just got started, and he was trying to start, start to talk about me. And we know they don't do that much. <laughs> this girl right here has helped so much with Blake Orlando throughout well, the years. Let's talk about it. Her Perfect children, timing. her children. She brought her children, which I love people bringing children out to the lake and teaching them about giving around the holidays instead of just getting. And she's yeah, a wonderful, awesome. wonderful mom, and she's continuing it. And she's, oh, you do so much, Stephanie. Thanks. It's good cool. to see you. Be Beautiful here. smile. Right, I got a bag. Hey, what's going on? Do you have a bag, a plastic bag? Oh, no, you're on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do. We probably do, sir, okay, somewhere. And he, and he said plastic uh, bag. Sure, yeah. let's, let's define plastic we, bag. We actually had the plastic bag from American Beauty uh, in studio, but uh, he's very busy we during have, the we holidays. Have, we have to find plastic bag. He's had about three, oh, three bloody bags. He wanted a little tiny plastic no, bag. I don't know, that, what, oh, I don't know I what he wanted. I think it was wanted. a big black okay. trash bag. There's no, okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it wasn't me. we are out here live trying ass. our best uh, to keep our composure <laughs> so. with everything. The best thing about this, man, is we're actually going to be doing micro bursts of broadcast. So uh, oh, yeah. when the bands are playing, we're going to shut it down. Justin so just played. Justin we're recording. Oh. Yeah, we're recording all this live. We're recording it live. Normally, I love to do a live show, but it's Sunday, and I'm not going to get stressed out. I'm going to relax a little because it's Sunday. Anyway, uh, what's your friend's name, Stephanie? Stephanie. Let's get back to talking about Blanket Orlando. In, in, instrument, how'd you, instrument, instrument how'd you get Orlando. involved? Yeah, let's where talk we, a little about it. Or there's headsets on the other side there. Okay. No, you were there you're there just the giving her. Get up on that mic. All right, so you're giving. All right, so Blanket Orlando. Stephanie, tell us a little about your involvement with that. Oh, gosh. You don't want my voice on this yes, thing. Seriously. Oh, come on. <laughs> you're already listening. You're in. Oh, You're no, it's, it's been great. Um, the biggest thing I, I like is that I also like to get my school involved and okay. tell the kids about it, even if they can't be there, yeah. um, just to let them know about giving and the people out there that have a need for to be warm. I mean, simple things, a, a jacket. I mean, well, and the worst part uh, about it is they typically have to get into some hospital or jail to get a blanket. Yeah, right? exactly. <laughs> it's it's insane how much a, a 
they have to go through just to get a simple blanket yeah. or a pair of socks or yeah. the money they have to put out when they don't even socks. have money in the first place. Nobody thinks about socks until it's really cold. Yeah. I guess, right? No. Especially in Florida here. Well, people but, don't think about anything until it's oh, cold. Yeah. <laughs> until the election. No, wait. Until winter is coming again. Yeah, and it's just things that people take. Um, it well, well, no, it was it was through music. Um, but in general, I'm when Blanket Orlando came around. I think I got there maybe like third year in, because I've been I've been on the side of Orlando maybe like ten years now. Yeah, okay. it's ten years now. Okay. So well, that's awesome. And like, you're there in the, the community. Year, yeah. Frankie, like, talking in the microphone. You're a pro. <laughs> Yeah. So, Dizzle Punk. Yeah. So, so um, Punk. well, Stephanie, great to Stephanie meet you. Defense. Love the story. Continue. Keep pushing forward. It's great to see you here. Thanks for supporting local and uh, I can't do in, more, you. in more ways than one. Yeah, I love you guys. Love you too. I love Appreciate you, it. We'll talk to you soon. Bye, you rock. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, Thanks. Good to meet you. All right. So, go uh, load your car. Go who load is your car? Uh, so, just getting <laughs> off. Just getting off. There is uh, Justin. And I can say it, Kangraga. I can say Kangraga. It took me a long time. I can to say Kangraga. I can say it Kangraga. Too. Yeah, I can say I, it. I can't spell it yet, but I can oh, you say can. it. <laughs> I, I, just, I just remember Kangruga. You know? Everybody's last name is Smith to me. Yeah, Kangraga. Anyway, so I can say that. And uh, they just got off the stage there, right? And uh, who's coming up next, uh, Frankie? It's pri- Prison Wine, I believe. <laughs> prison Wine. Prison the, Wine. These, these guys are it's, amazing. Jeffrey and, and Hurley. And I met them at the uh, Hoodstock party oh. first time. Oh, and that's Dave right. Mann at, at the Fr- Actually, the first time was at French Festival with Jessica Polly. She brought she brought them on, and we were like, who are these guys? And it's, I'm telling you, if, you're, if you have never seen Prison Wine, check them out. They're amazing. Jeffrey! Yeah. Now he's not right. looking at it. Now you're trying to get him over here. All right. Anyway, but uh, we were going around. So there's the fry and the wine. There's like uh, French fries and wine uh, little setup out here, which is pretty cool, right? Right. Uh, right next to that, you've got Panther Brunotti. Pa- Panther Brunotti. You are good with the Panther names. Panther Brunotti. Well, I've done that. This had all is the what training. I've got to learn from, got, the, oh, okay. the last names and how to pronounce things. And then uh, there's an artist uh, right here. That uh, is, uh, what, do you know about this artist right here? I'm gonna He's meet. got all Tom Petty stuff. I'd love to talk with this guy. He bought me is some fries. The, the man or the woman? The, the woman is the artist. The man is? Mr. They artist. both are? Mr. Artist. They roll around naked in paint, I'm being told. Nope, I'm being uh, I'm being told that's not right. Hold on. Nope, nope. That's where it's at. Come talk, come talk to us. That's where it's at. JB Webb, he's going to talk to you. Ah. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, Frankie, my, uh, I, th- I see a orange one right down there. I don't know if that's the main one. Um, anyway, bro, uh, thanks for being on our little uh, thing we're doing here. What's your name, man? And welcome to it. Uh, I am JB Webb. That's uh, Frankie Messina. How you doing, man? What's your name? Uh, Jim Bronzo. With, Jim Bronzo. With Second Chance Wallace. Oh, my right. God. You have a remarkable story. Yeah, with a fire and everything. Wow. Yeah, you have a remarkable story. Wow. And you're an artist. I'm an artist. I love that. Makes money for the animals. Yeah. Wow. So cool. So um, tell uh, us and our audience a little bit more about uh, the Wildlife Sanctuary. Um, 40 you know, years. Yeah. 40 years of doing this. And then I had a... How'd you get into that originally? Just, ever since I was a little kid. You um, just had a passion yep, for animals and yep. kind of were going to veterinary school yep. maybe? Uh, no, I was a, a nuisance wildlife trapper, a humane trapper, oh, okay. and we'd catch monkeys and parrots and oh, stuff, damn. and I had enough yeah, property. Oh, back in the 80s, yeah. that was crazy. I know. Miami Vice was like real. That was monkey. that was a serious <laughs> job, <laughs> sir. You're a pretty tough guy. <laughs> no, <laughs> serious. Crazy. And like <laughs> two, two parrots turned into 100 parrots and <laughs> yeah. blah, blah, blah. But anyway, we had a bad fire this year, and oh. Maxine gave, yeah. did a great fundraiser for me, so I'm paying back. And, and I, I, I love the work that you do uh, both uh, with the animals and the painting. Yep. Uh, over here, you've got a bunch of great art. Now, is all the artwork for sale? All the artwork's for sale, yep. Okay, perfect. So how, did you take this on kind of as a, uh, a special thing for this particular event, or do you uh, have a, a, a heart on for Tom Petty That's like perfect. I do? I I do like yeah. Tom Petty, and I did do John Lennon last year, okay. and I'm doing Tom Petty this year. I do Perfect. love John Lennon. I mean, uh, Tom Petty. Yeah, yeah. And um, <laughs> seriously, American Girl is my favorite song yeah. in the whole world. But um, so it's good, and I love what this guy does with his blankets and stuff. Yeah, and so it's remarkable. Uh, no, it's great. I'd love to get you in for a more of a local legend session. Uh, you okay. definitely fit the criteria, and cool. Bill. Um, but uh, as for now, though, what's the best thing you could say, uh, you know, to people that uh, maybe are very animal driven and I'll say this would be great to get your opinion because my wife kind of got torn apart on uh, the f- social media for saying oh I don't forgive this Michael Vick guy 
right? And uh, I don't either, though. You don't? Yeah. I do not. Well, that that's just it. I just think anything he's doing that also involves, like, people, I, there's too much of an associative uh, abuse. You know, uh, I track. forgive people and give them a second yeah. chance, but when I, re- when I read what he did to those dogs, he can't be forgiven for that. There's something wrong well, with that. Or them. he shouldn't be in a position no. where he's managing no. people because it's, al- it's almost it's yep. a toxic, yep. top-down kind of mentality you have. And I, and I forgive everybody for a lot of stuff, but yeah. this guy is just despicable and i'm i'm shocked really that nfl is resigning him and it's interesting was, to see how it's yeah. all yeah but in this world where things are black and white it's great to see yep. that there is still beauty in gray right the world yep. is highly ambiguous yeah right so so when someone like you has 40 plus years doing the one thing that is what i love uh really about orlando and our community because yep. that is purity that is sacred that is purity so jim bronzo great to meet you great to meet you're, you you're a rock star man thanks I, bud i would love to have you in my uh studio Bring hanging it. out a little longer We'll bring it on. All right. All right I'll get your info. Bye. Oh, here. Here's a JB Webb sticker for you. Just Thank you, sir. <laughs> the, <laughs> Thomas <laughs> Thor <laughs> All right. There you go. You rock. That guy. Is, oh, oh it went in. All right, don't drop it in the fryer. All right. Anyway, there we go. So, wow. wow Jim Bronzo. That's, uh, this is live. That, no, this is recorded. I <laughs> love <is> live. <laughs> We are recorded live. Remember? Uh, but, uh, but I feel very alive. We are very alive. I'm very alive yeah, with this. That's right. Look, I'm so, looking right at Dave Mann, the, yeah, the man himself the, the right there. The next band is getting ready. It's called Prison Wine. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think uh, it, people may or may not know that's also called Buck. Huh? I believe that's also called Buck uh, in the prison system. Oh, uh, yeah. Prison wine is called Buck. Uh, they make it from the... Uh, you know, let the uh, the fruit that they get kind of maturate. The frutas. And it fermentos. The, the frutas. The fruity fermentos. And it's uh, delicious. It's like a sangria. It's like prison sangria. I, I, prison sangria. I think, I, think there's a, I think there's a white claw flavor uh, now. What? Frutas. A fruit white claw. Frutas flamenco flamencos. No. White, white claw. Prison flavor. White claw prison. <laughs> this uh, this still, white claw tastes t- like prison. T- no, you can't st- say that. Still, still Paul's? That's, that's a band. <laughs> still reserved. Come on. Still reserved. Remember that beer? Uh, 311? No. It, it says gra- extra gravity added because oh, it's so bad. I don't you, you, remember. Hit the, you hit the four quicker? No. And 311. I love 311. And, and 311 is, is the police. Is the police call? Okay. For uh, for for robbery. So, oh, I, so, so you drink so much. You when I said I love three eleven, you, 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 uh, yeah. so, hey. you drink so much you want to steal stuff. Hi, Maxie. Come here, Maxie. We're down come here. On over. Look at my shoes. Don't come over. Get, get over there. Get on that. Okay. For the love of. I'll let him run his show. How about that? I'll go get a chair. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. a That's a perfect chair for Maxine. Anyway, all right, all right. she's going to get a chair. Oh, she's getting a chair. Ah, oh, I know you tried to sell her. Why don't you talk to us for a second there, guy about to go on? Uh, real someone. quick, I got head cans. Hold on, what's your name real quick? My name is uh, Parton. Parton? Yeah, like Dolly. And you're in Prison Wine. That is correct, sir. Well, you rock, sir. We Make can't sure wait to hear your stuff. I can't wait We're going to respect. Wait. Uh, she's not coming okay. back, man. She's not coming back now. Oh, we lost Maxine. All right. She's a she's a butterfly. No, There's back. no yeah. way. There's no way you can trap her down. How long you been playing music, man? I've been playing since uh, probably a little bit more than ten years now. Nice. Yeah. I got uh, right here out of Orlando. Yep. I I bought a I bought a drum set with uh, with my scholarship money my second year at UCF and I haven't stopped yet. So. Oh damn. <laughs> nice. Holy oh! mackerel! What's going on? Food. Hey, wait. I like how you're. Hold on. Yell again. No. Oh, I've got the extra echo. You got some echo on your mic. I love oh, that. Oh, good. Hold on. Wait, wait. You're bringing me this. Oh, my goodness. Great. Cosmic Thank Benedict. So much. I am like. <laughs> I'm trying to eat. Hold on. I'm trying to do a show. I'm going to. Oh, bitch. thank you so much. Oh. I'll, be, I'll be eating that in a minute. You don't that's, need a fork. That's my wife calling me bitch. I love the fact that you're echoing. Hold on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Y'all look good all the way back. All right. There we go. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, been a minute. So um, so you have been doing this for quite some time like as well. Guy. Uh, yeah, he's like uh, the Kool Aid guy. We're on the t- t- <laughs> season. Oh, this yeah. is our season apocalypse. Oh god! god, god, god. Yeah. Oh god! Oh, god. <laughs> <laughs> season apocalypse. <laughs> lips. You mean played yet? You mean played yet? You entertaining us? Petty clips, I guess. So okay, okay. Stop, stop messing stop with the board. I got a bad intern. I can't help. Hold on. That's uh yeah. Let the drummer, That's the, kick, let the drummer yeah. kick. That's oh Mitch God, Foster. Yeah. Mitch Foster uh, remixing the podcast over here. Ross. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> He's doing a little remix kick. on it. Okay, anyway. <laughs> We're talking with Pardon. Yes. Now, it's P-A-R-D-O-N. That's P-A-R-T-I-N. It's like Martin, but with a P. Parton. Yeah. Okay, but the D is hard. It's Well, it's, it's Southern. D. It's Nobody pronounces the last vowel. The it's, D it's, is pretty solid. Yeah. 
It's I'm, the the partners I'm all live. Bad with pronunciations. No, the, whatever I say is not gonna come out right. Pardon. The partners pardon. all live in Kissimmee. All the the cow town outside of Disney and whatnot. Ah. I'm an old Florida cracker man. I'm like okay. 10th generation Floridian. This nice. is wow. this petty Damn. stuff is real. Damn. <laughs> Damn. It's, it's some serious. <laughs> yeah. So you well, you uh, didn't just learn this stuff. You came no. you came up with it. No. I yeah, had a weird, weird so swamp talking about smell that, and everything. Yeah, talking about Tom Petty, I think yes. that's a great thing. How influential was he in your music? So, one of my biggest influences, oddly enough, is is Dave Grohl, and um, he. Uh, I, I wasn't into Petty super until I saw him at Bonnaroo in two thousand and six, mm-hmm. and. The first song he played, I was like, oh, my God, I love that song. And then the second song he played, I'm like, oh, my God, I love that song. And (laughs) then that happened for like three hours. And um, so I I started to dig in a little bit further. And then I learned that Grohl for a bit was Tom Petty's drummer. Really? For a very brief period of time. Before, in the gap between Nirvana and the Foo Fighters' first record, he turned down a gig playing drums for Petty. He played with him. There's a video of him playing on SNL with Petty. Really? And it's this big, gnarly rock and roll stuff. And I'm like, okay, if it's good enough for Dave, it's good enough for me. Right. And so I started to dig in a little bit more and... And um, and not for nothing, my my guitar player and singer Jeff Cravero for Prison Wine, he is uh, super into this this gentleman all the way down into the deep cuts. We're playing a mud crutch song wow. today. Yeah, it, gets, it goes deep. So my enthusiasm for the ballistic rhythm section plus his desire for the obscure really dug it in. Now, and I know, too, uh, you're talking about Dave Grohl on SNL. I think even, there was even a uh, punk rock uh, when he sat in on the little... Do you ever see that skit where he sat in on the little wedding band thing? Yes, I did. And he oh, ended so up... good. Yeah. Him and Fred <laughs> Armisen just... Destroying the whole... It's destroying a thing of beauty. Thing. So you're local Floridian. We yes. do a thing called Local Legend. Um, you said you've been uh, playing music 10 years. How old are you? You're I am 35. 30, 35. Yeah. Okay, well, you're, you're encroaching into that land. Yeah. Uh, been yeah. a minute. So, well, uh, I want to stay in touch with you for the new year. I think there's a lot of interesting people out here, and oftentimes this will be a little foil to a more deeper session. Yes. So, uh, I think Beautiful. you definitely deserve it of that. No, uh, drop the details. Where can people get prison wine if they're not in prison? <laughs> if they're not in prison, right. uh, we are online, and we're in the process of actually recording a bunch of stuff uh, uh, to get out here, uh, hopefully in the relatively near future. But there's videos on YouTube, Facebook. Uh, we've got some some stuff on Bandcamp, SoundCloud, all that. The usual out. Let's prison wine, and is Buck also prison wine? I believe. Have you heard it called Buck? I have heard it called Pruno. Okay, <laughs> that's good. You Other, make it into Tullet, from what I'm saying. P- Pruno, yeah. yeah, Buck. That's what I've heard it called. It's, it's, yeah. it's regional. It depends. It, I guess maybe it is regional. It's, it's like the difference between pop and soda. And Each Coke Florida and county has their own name <laughs> for prison wine. I'm pretty in, sure. In Imperial it's Polk County, the, it's called Buck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Orange County, right. we prefer Pruno. It's really just a matter of how many orange peels you put in. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. Stark is something I'll, I'll, like... I want to drink some of that right now. No, you yeah. don't. It's no, gonna, you don't. No, that's that's how people die. It's literally... It's, it's Shanks and, and Pruno. Shanks and Pruno. Who's your other band members you Good got? Good job, Mitch. Who's your other band members? So, uh, uh, Jeff Cavero is our singer and uh, a rhythm guitar player. Cruz Carter is playing on bass with us. Uh, the Dave Man is playing uh, lead guitar. <laughs> the, the, the Dave Man. The, the Dave Man. The I Dave love Man. That. Man. You said it right. You're right. in <laughs> every band. The Dave Man. And, um, right. and uh, so he's only been playing with us. Him and Kevin Green, they're in every band in town. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's been playing with us for about a year, and, and we love him. He shreds. He's a good dude. Yes, he and is. he's, uh, yeah. So, Can't wait and I, I think we're, we're getting pretty close to being on the clock here. So, Well, yeah. you rock, brother man. Yeah. Yeah. I really appreciate guys. it. And uh, you, hopefully, hopefully we don't suck. Great so. to meet you, Pardon. You. Yeah, you will nice not. You. Uh, you will rock it out. And it is uh, the JB Rev Show. We're live here uh, at Maxine's on Shine in the parking lot. And um, yeah. thank you so much. Y- yeah, this is a great event. Yeah. Hold on. If you can... Uh, I, I'm not really 100% I'm right sure if you, where I'm your glasses are. I'm getting a hug over here. You're getting a hug. You're oh, this is great. All right, so, so, so we're Great. set up. Uh, so I was describing where everybody's set up. So, Thank you so uh, much. We, we're next to Jim uh, in between where the bands are, and, and Frankie has his Blanket Orlando set up here where people are coming Beautiful and dropping people. off. This woman just brought yeah. me a box of brand new socks. Well, they're, they're, they're uh, coming. It doesn't have to be brand new, but it's, it's warm stuff for people that are homeless, especially here in Orlando. Um, there are a couple more spots this week, uh, Frankie, that Friday. you'll be collecting. Yeah, are, are two more or one more? Friday's the official time. Friday uh, is the official time that it starts. This next, is early. Next wow. What to do is has a pre thing with this here. Yeah, and we're already stacked over our heads here. So Friday we start at three o'clock at the lake, Lake Ivanhoe. Okay, and go to Nora's for she's collecting dog food and things okay. for animals. 
is that she's the animal girl, Nora Sugar Shack, right at dusk. And then at 9 o'clock, we love her. Mr. Dizzle Funk, our buddy, nice. is doing his shoe and shock drive that he's been doing for, for four years. And and, and, Mac, and Maxine came up and said, Mac, Maxine, Maxine, oh. Maxine came up and said, uh, we're doing this Tom Petty of, uh, event. Yeah. And she had some other stuff lined up. And she called me. She said, Frankie, would you like to be a part of this? And I said, of course, Maxine. Everything you do is wonderful. But she thought it fit so well with the Tommy Petty tribute. And it's heartfelt and it's beautiful and it's so local. And and hello, Maxine. Thank you so much for having me in here. Look what look what's happening. I know, darling. I hope this you're is the pre show. The wonderful Maxine. Yeah, this, this is the pre collecting. The pre show. A week before. Yeah. You, you, yeah. You, you you've outdone yourself. We were just talking about that his blanket Orlando thing and how we're set up here. We went around talk about everybody. Um, you guys always put on awesome events. Oh yeah, Thank you. in the and, parking lot right here. Well, there's always always a lot of great people volunteering for great stuff. Right. And because this is a community restaurant and everything, has it is your flow inside? We haven't even been inside yet. Packed. What's going it's on in there? in there? It's packed, it's packed to the gills. Yes. We got some great musicians playing inside today. Yeah. As you can see, the list is here right now. Yes. We, uh, Wendy and Steve are getting ready to go on nice. inside, wow. and then the, a couple right after them at uh, two o'clock, the Mojo Two. They are like. The Beatles and Tom Petty reincarnated. Nice. They're amazing. And it's got to be like a duo in there because yeah. the full bands are out here. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's a little smaller stage. Uh, under the Tito's over. handmade vodka. <laughs> That's right. Are they a sponsor? Or is that just a nice uh, tip? You know, we, well, we sell Tito's. It's our, yeah, it's our only vodka it. that we have in the restaurant. I'm drinking it right and now. And they're really big, big sponsors, you know, with dogs and uh, community and, and events. And Mitch Foster, so. which shows I go to, I think is, uses them a lot. Yeah, Or, yeah. or they, use, they help each no, other No, they've been really wonderful to our community, to everybody. Yeah. I mean, Tito's has been great. Yeah, but thank you. Yes, I'm very excited. Yes, Frankie, you have piles. You know, I, you guys have the low chairs. You, you should put them it's up so on piles fun. of blankets. Oh yeah, later we'll be sitting up. Later a we'll be on higher. top. We'll be on top of the tent right. in the roof. Probably. Would you like taller chairs, or are you guys chilling? I think I'm happy. I okay. think it's actually cool like this. You know, because what we're gonna do is uh, we're just gonna record live live little bursts. Okay. In between the bands playing. Okay. You know, so we don't step on any right. music. Thank you so much for being here, JB. Of course. Thank you, Frankie. I'm excited to eat You're my welcome. breakfast. No, thank uh, you. Maxine great. Von Schein, uh, 337. North Schein, Schein Avenue. North Schein <laughs> Avenue. 337. If you don't know, you should find out. Uh, because it is a great right? place. You guys do phenomenal brunches here. And I saw recently, again, you won some other kind of other ward, best yes. something, yeah, no, we whatever are the, that was. Uh, Central 28 restaurants to again. visit here in Orlando. Oh we we oh made right. the list. Woo, are you guys, woo. how many? <laughs> it's a list that came out in Miami. Uh, what's going on? That we are the you guys are on a, so many lists. Yes, we are. Well, That's we deserve wonderful. it. We work hard for the money. You do work hard. <laughs> you guys recently got to uh, take a little vacation. Was that fun? It's like, would you go uh, Arizona? Or, oh, my God, yes. Uh, Vegas and you or? know what? We didn't even argue. No, like we wow. argue all the time here. What? Yes, running a business together with your oh, honey, we should go on vacation. You hear that? Then it's no yes, arguing. It was great. We didn't we didn't argue about the restaurant. We didn't argue about nothing. We just we just got up and we actually had intimacy. Excuse what? me. I hope your radio did you hear that? Mind. Ma- 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 honey, did you it hear was that? Time to make ma- out. Ma- 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 Maxine, it's, it's called life. And you know what else? It's called life. It was no Wi-Fi <laughs> out there in Arizona. Wow. There's no Wi-Fi anywhere nice. unless you're actually at a hotel. Mm-hmm. And we did not know what hotel we were staying at every night. You know what you get if uh, you take that last I off of Wi-Fi and put an E there. Oh, look it's, at that. It's wife. You oh, get well. a wife. So you're still connected. He was still, Kurt was connected to wife. wife. <laughs> no, you're putting really the time. E. Thank you for asking, okay. yes. Well, good. Yeah. That's always All right. good to Well, guys, I'm going to get back Dessert. to work. Okay. You Love you. I'll, I'll stop back later. I'm of sure course. we'll get Kurt over here. Yes. All right. All right. Bye-bye. Sounds great. Love you. Outside of uh, Maxine's on Shine in the parking lot where there's a bonanza, a festival occurring here with uh, the honoring of a great man, Tom Petty. He uh, oh, yeah. he he definitely was a great man. Uh, he we definitely lost him way too quickly. Uh, you know, I guess in the end uh, it was a heart condition. I think is that correct? Am I remembering uh, that right? I don't remember. Maybe we should look it up. I should know. You got some great food there to eat, and uh, we can go do that. Oh, my wife is going to come on the show. Oh, you're going to come on the show oh, now. All right. Yeah, I can. She heard. She heard. Wi- she, she heard Wi-Fi wife. Oh, Wi-Fi wife, and now oh, you're on bitch. the show. That's Uh-oh. whiff, by What's the way. What's going on? I don't know. No. Where is it? That's whiff. It wouldn't be white. <laughs> okay. I can't believe I have to tell you to talk into the microphone. I can't believe that you think you have to tell me to talk into wow, the microphone. This is amazing. Okay. But I'll let you think that because that's what I do. Okay. She's a snazzy dresser. Uh, right. Thank Just you. Start, start from the beginning. Thank right you. Now. That's how he gets his good looks. He's really scary without me. Wow. 
Grammy Award winner rocker. Tom, what did you call me? Tom Petty. Oh, okay. I didn't call. I'm I thought Gr- you said Grammy Award winner. I was going to be like, you oh, bitch. You, you came in halfway through. We were trying Man. to find out. Find yeah, out how, that how was Mr. Stop, Petty yeah, away. stop Mr. Ropering me. Jesus, shut up. Shut up, Mr. Furley, for one second. Over there. I'm sorry, I'm Hold filling on. in for Jerry. Jeez. Oh, okay. That's you all, know? Right. all right. Good luck with that. I uh, got to condescend your ass at every moment. I guess so. Yeah, thanks. I, so I don't get too, don't get too full of myself. That's right. Uh, he was the lead singer of Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, formed in 1976. He previously led band Mud Crutch and was also a member of the late 80s supergroup The Traveling Wilburys. Wilburys. Wow. And uh, as we learned, uh, he played with who? He said he was a drummer uh, he said, he said for Dave Grohl. Dave Grohl, or, uh, Dave, oh, Dave Dave Grohl, Grohl played was, for him, I believe. Is that what it was? I think it was that yeah, way Dave Grohl was a drummer for Tom Petty. All the Petty. musicians out there. Dave right, Grohl was the that. drummer for Tom Petty. Petty recorded go. a number of hit singles, the Heartbreakers. Uh, Grammy Award winner rocker Tom Petty at uh, his home recording studio and rehearsal room in Malibu on September 27th, 2017, just five days before he died at age 36. 36 only? So, uh, Dom, no. Tom Petty did oh, not die at age 36, no, no, bro. No. He, what the fuck? Was he born in 36? <laughs> it's 50-something. Was he born in 36? Uh, yeah, it was like 55. Oh, what there the it fuck? Is. It's 66. Thank there you. Oh, my God. What are you, in Wikipedia, I, I, bitch? I, I, I know. And I, <laughs> God. I, I was, I was going to lay down right now. I mean, if that Jesus. happened, I was going to lay down right now. I mean, he died at 36. Well, rest, shut up. Rest, rest, <laughs> rest, rest too in peace. yelling into the microphone. Rest in peace, Tom Petty. I'm sorry. We're celebrating Tom Petty 40 years. Years later, <laughs> after his death, I like the way I like the 66. way you're multitasking God. there with that with that plate of food. That's thank wonderful. you. What, what, are you uh, what are you eating? Hey, dude, want some of my uh, no. beef hash? No, homemade. <laughs> Not right now. No, you can't have that out here. You brought, hash? You brought it from home. You can't be doing <laughs> no, hash really. out here. Uh, yeah. What's the matter with you? I'm a hobo. Uh, okay, I'm a hobo. On, I got some blankets for you. Well, yeah, thank you. That's what we're doing. Thank you. He's <laughs> collecting the blankets for uh, the people, and it's hot as hell. What is it like? Eighty degrees? It's today. Fucking bullshit. It's in Orlando. Well, it's gonna be. How colder. cold does it get? It's warming up this week. About third, about, the, about the 60, care. 67. So, so how do you get? <laughs> it's like how fucking do you 90. Get a, how do you get all this stuff to the people that need it, Frankie? That's a, that's what I love to hear. When it, when uh, it, dro- when it drops below 60, it's a big, when it, yep. no, no, people in the street. I've got a lot of friends helping me for the last few years coming to pick things up from me. Um, yeah. If you're hearing me right now, I've still got stuff at the house, I'm sure. Come by and get a load of things and bring it to wherever you're at. There's so many homeless camps around. There's so many people in town that you would not believe spots, little spots of woods behind. We see them every day. Yeah. And so I just pack my, so tru- it's like my a truck per- up. Perpetual kind of a thing. Pass it out on the street. I'll, yeah. Instead of giving them a dollar, I'm giving them a whole huge pack of 10 pack of brand new warm socks. Yeah. Or a nice shirt or a jacket. Or yeah. a what about a pack of cigarettes? Uh, if someone gives me that, I would give those away. I love you. Unless you're Swiss or Sweets. I love Then I'll do that one. <laughs> Because I'm, I'm kind of redneck. Sorry, I love you, man. He's going to keep his Swisher <laughs> I love Sweets, you. obviously. I want a slushie and a pack of cigarettes. Bring me a right. grape Swisher Sweet, and, and, and <laughs> oh. I'll pass out. I'll, 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 skeet, I'll, skeet. <laughs> okay. Is that what you just said, skeet, skeet? I did. Okay. I'm yeah. inappropriate as fuck. Yeah, that's that's, that sounds like the plate. Of, uh, that's maybe what you're eating. That's right. <laughs> we are out here. Uh, prison wine is about to go on here in a little bit. Uh, here I comes a blanket. Luckily Uh-oh. that we're... Oh, here comes yeah. a blanket. He just threw a blanket at my... At, there you go. There you go. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you there very you much. Thank you. Happy holidays. All right. She's beautiful. People are people are giving uh, pretty just girls coming a, up. Pretty girls and blankets stuff. are even numbered. Nice coming and even better. You know what? We're keeping Orlando warm. We sure are. In this 92 degree weather. Yeah. It's going gonna, it's gonna to happen. It's going to happen, man. Tonight, it's gonna, awesome, though. We're all wishing uh, for cold. Need, the biggest thing is the shoes and the socks. I think that we really go, need go with bigger because, because it's, when the, it's there. a warm pair of socks and a nice pair of shoes. Come now, on. How can we get the homeless people showers and stuff and like the modern yeah. accoutrements of, of, you know, having some dignity? There's a lot of organizations that are doing it. Coalition of the Homeless, Salvation Army, all those groups. Uh, are, but, but we're not connecting any of those because there's people in the streets that are just in need. All, all the, the having to... Uh, Find the right groups and wait for it. You know, I say giving is easy because it is. You don't have right. to wait for anybody. To, you, don't have, you, you don't have to tape it. I mean, it's great that you're on, we're on this radio talking about it right now because Orlando knows uh, to look for it every year now. And, and the way you've always supported this, JB, which I appreciate. Heck yeah. You, you know that, that it usually happens around Thanksgiving. It's later right. this year. Right. But... That first week when it starts getting a little cold. Well, but January, I, February, we I got. And year round, you got to do it. You know, and yeah. pe- people have brought me food and little snacks, and I, I pass this off to other people. Uh, but the, but the, it's just amazing what people will bring or want to bring. Just clean out their house every year. Right. So it happened. I had stuff for two years 
Last year, I didn't really do a Blank Orlando officially on the day. Yeah. Because I had so much to determine the two years before. My landlord kept wondering, Frankie, why are you putting your garbage on your porch? <laughs> oh, no. It was in people dropping off things daily. Oh, no. So I had things all through the summer. Everybody was, yeah. And, and we made a lot of people have a lot of the feminine products, shoes, socks, grooming essentials, these things that don't really get a, a woman just sent me, hand me a bag. She said, yeah. there's 10 brand new bras in there. And I yeah. and I love that. It's like you know what you love bras. I sure yeah. do. Oh, I, man. I, I like brand new ones. People are oh. getting. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna check them out before I give them People all. Are, out. Oh, that's what I'm saying. I might keep one because I can see you one sexy uh, black bra. I might, I might keep one there. Wife. Please do. <laughs> <laughs> Please do. I'm sure they have your cup size. Anyway, but you know what I was wondering the, the Florida Mall. Okay, you don't need to talk, Joel. Uh, JB, you know the Florida Mall. They're shutting that shit down, right? Oh. And they're thinking about making that a skate park. Like an indoor skate park. Okay. And I'm thinking, why not make that a shelter for the homeless? Pro- There's tons it- of homeless people. What are they closing? Florida Mall. Uh, Fashion Square Mall. Fashion what? Square. Yeah. yeah no, they're, they're clo- not. Yes, they are. They, they, yes, they are. They finally got bought. I think it, it got, got bought, but they're selling out again. I think you're reading uh, old. I no, I am not. I Do not get... accuse me. Uh-oh. Pull up your damn phone Uh-oh. where you find all your information from because <laughs> you can't Just... store it in your own brain. Right, shut it. Uh, oh. Look, I can do this. I forgot. <laughs> wow. That, how awesome is that? I just... I just uh, here comes the band. I just dropped my wife's mic there. Here how comes great the, here was comes that? the band. That was awesome. Prison wine's coming up. Hold on. But she, okay. Well, where's but all my correct. stuff? All right. Hold Thank on. you. Um, Put me back up. I was gonna be the fashion where's... square itself. I was gonna actually be a fashion square, like like a, like a, uh, a mascot for the fashion square mall. I was gonna be the fashion square, like a nerd oh, walking around. Oh yeah, man. That's great. Yeah. Like, oh, you're gonna do dress up in a no, suit. Nobody wanted okay. to pay me. Yeah, <laughs> dress up in a suit, man, and act like you're totally not hip. Band time. You're there like fashion unsquare, great. fashion hip. Thank you, JB, for yes. still kicking us off, and we're going to have a good time. I'll wait till, I'll wait till midnight. I'll wait till 7. You were too popular. You were too popular, man. You can't handle shit like that. Those tiny little hands that make my cock look so big. You're fucking asinine. Yes, it is. Whoa. Mama never was around, but she grew up tall and she grew up bright. Went to Indiana, boys on the Indiana nights. Moved down here about the age of 18, blew them all away. More they seen. Got introduced, then we both started grooving. They said I dig a baby, but I gotta keep moving. Moving on.
There's no sense in pretending Your eyes give you away Something inside you was feeling like I do We said all there is to say Snipey, snipe broadcasting. Uh, so we're kind of coming in every time that the live bands go down. Uh, we're trying to come back up here and give you a little bit of coverage of uh, what's happening out here at this. Uh, it's a, it's the first time they've ever done a tribute like this. They've done one for John Lennon here. Uh, very successful. Oh, this guy's incredible. Uh, Oh, wait, there's a blind uh, guitar player uh, coming up here soon. Uh, do you know who that is? Uh, uh, no, hold gave, on, let me get the sheet. He gave me a jacket. <laughs> he gave me a jacket. Okay, well, his name is Dave Hillebrand. He's supposed to be coming up here. I've heard his name. He's wonderful. Yeah, Dave Hillebrand. He's a blind guitarist. He's going to come up and uh, and do his thing. I got some blankets coming. Yeah. Oh, that's very good then. <laughs> We are receiving blankets here Thank as you. the uh, shift goes on. All right. Oh, it looks like they're going to do another one. All right, so we'll... What are we going to do? We're going to come back. <laughs> Hold on. I don't know. Are they doing another one? Non-stop music. Are they doing another one? Una yes, they are. Una Look una at all this stuff people are bringing. Blankets. blankets. Yes. Everybody looks like they're uh, like going to a uh, long journey. And it's in the past, you know, because they're carrying actual blankets. Like, they're going to use those blankets uh, for the, 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 the base of their hut or something. I mean, it's very awesome because of that uh, primal kind of thing here. Oh, wait. They are doing another song. All right. The JB Rev Show live from Maxine's on Shine. I guess we're going to cut it down and go back. We're doing that. That's right, a live recording out here 
at uh, Maxine's on Shine, uh, right in the midst of uh, um, the the parking lot out here, is now a place for festivities. Right, the band we're right next to the band, um, and I'm gonna want to one more time, Prison Wine. There you go. They were great. They did a good job. A lot of great bands out here tonight, uh, today, actually, as I'm trying to say. And, Wow. All right. Uh, we got a lot of stuff going on. Frankie's nonstop receiving blankets. That, that guy it's tried amazing. To, that guy tried to hit me 20 bucks. I had to get back to him. You know, I told him to do something nice. What a, what a great gesture. He said, I didn't bring anything, didn't know about it. He's giving wow. me 20 bucks just to do something. But you know what? I'd rather him. So he, gave you, he tried to give you something, and you had to take it. It was. I didn't take the 20 the $20. No, you because, didn't because you're not a nonprofit or whatever, right? Uh, no, I just wanted take, him to know that the guy running this thing. Wants yeah. him to do something nice with someone. Yeah. The gesture a bit more than in the could in that yeah. more than that twenty could every the, the thought was bigger than that twenty. Yeah, that's awesome. That's all it is to it. Thank oh you, God. sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, anonymous sir. Tried to give money. <laughs> uh, we're taking blankets, and that was pretty awesome. It was a good story. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, prison wine just got done playing, They're and uh, I feel intoxicated from uh, the prison wine. But next up, set. we're going to want to talk to uh, Dizzle Funk over there. Uh, so yeah. So oh, hold on. Yeah. Are you okay? Oh. <laughs> Wow, my wife is now getting angry. Do you want to? You're a producer. You're an executive producer. Don't give me that. Uh, well, yeah. Tell him I want to talk to him when he gets a second. Dizzle, dizzle. Yes. You are up, Dizzle Funk. Oh, out, outside here, uh, live recording. Like I said, this it is, is the live. JB Rev Show. Frankie Messina sitting in the co-host uh, chair, the shotgun chair, this and he's always busy because people are always constantly bringing up stuff. Now, as we started here, I wish we should get, you should get a shot of us because uh, <laughs> this mound is growing huge. It's, the mound. Can you take up. a picture of us, Jeannie? Jeannie, take a when you get a second. Yeah, and then we uh, we need more. Uh, we need more appetizers on table five when you get a second. Yeah. <laughs> and more, and more, more cowbell. Yeah. More cowbell. Uh, uh, Frankie wants some more cowbell, too. So uh, uh, we're going to talk to Dizzle Funk here uh, in yeah. just a second. Uh, Mr. Josh uh, Becker, has Wyatt Becker, has his own uh, has his own endeavor that's kind of pairing up with what oh, yeah. uh, we're doing out here with Blanket Orlando. And uh, I guess he's already there. How the, There he is. The, the, Hello. Hello. Enigmatic hello. man himself. Uh, well, well, it is well, the, dizzle, the dizzle to the P, the D to the P, Dizzle Funk. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome, yeah. brother man. How oh, are we? Howdy do doody. Howdy doody. A cool breeze just blew in. Uh, why wouldn't it? We'll why take, wouldn't it? Ah, uh, you're the cool. We'll he's the, he's the, the cool breeze. Ah, uh, feels it. delightful. Stop it. Ah, it. uh, we're so hot out here. I know. Anyway, <laughs> how are you guys? That was great. Uh, uh, doing good, brother. <laughs> how are you? Over. The wind took over. <laughs> yeah, we were just like, oh, whatever. Just for a second. This is a break to enjoy the wind. Okay, we're back. I love this guy, man. Me too. Uh, uh, back in the day, uh, Perigo introduced me to Dizzle Funk, and that must have been like uh, almost ten years ago yeah, or something like that. Sounds about right. Yeah, and uh, uh, this guy, man, I, the he was there doing the very first. Uh, was it was it called Immerse back then? Yeah, uh, it was called Immerse. No, it, was it was called Creative City Project. Creative City Project. Yep. That's right. Yeah, and you were up there. You had you up there on the decks. Yeah, uh, and, and just like right in smack dab in the middle of Orange Avenue. Yeah, and even before that, man, I remember. Remember it was an art show at the Cameo when they recently, before they actually flipped that whole place or mm-hmm. something like that, um, and and you were DJing there, and I was just like, man, this guy is just phenomenal. Oh, he does stop it. well. You do. You bring you bring the flavor. You bring the juice. The funk. Uh, and, and you make people want to move. But besides all that, you're also, in part, doing a, kind of a drive ah. for shoes this and is, is for it. stuff to help with what Frankie's doing here, the Blanket Orlando thing. You guys are kind of merged and joined forces on this wait, shit, wait, right? Wait, or, yeah, yes, yes and no. You yes know, and no. You, no okay, you know tell me what I, no, I don't no, know. No, Dizzle has been helping me so much, <laughs> so, so many things for years. And when I started eight years ago, he, he was like, what can I do to help? And I said, just, what do you want to do? And, and shoes and socks came out. And it's been out of four, your mouth, four, came out of your mouth. Four years, <laughs> you've been doing it, and you just rock the house with some shock, socks and shoes. All the events you do that are fantastic anyway, but you had people just show up. And you put some life into it, man. I I, I love you, I love you for doing that. Thank yeah, you, so like, yeah. So how did that whole thing start? Uh, Frankie was saying, you just know, like you said, he blanket was, Orlando. He was doing blanket Orlando, and I said, Frankie, I want to do something myself. Yeah, I don't know what to do. He said socks and shoes, and that was it. And that was it. I think like we've been doing that for four four years this year. Yeah, and we want brand new socks because a nice warm pair of Bravo. socks is what happens. Bravo. And, and Thanks, man. It is wonderful. He, uh, he's he's added some new feel to it that is just amazing. What? 
He's added uh, yeah. fuel to Petroleum. fuel. Fuel, fuel. fuel. He's fuel he's to the he, blanket fire. Nitroglycerin. So you get. So how do you disperse uh, these shoes and stuff to? Well, to this, this year it'll be the Bithlow homeless camps. Yes. So wow. we're working in conjunction with another one of Frankie's friends named Susie. Okay. Uh, Cofferty, I, I think that's how you pronounce her name. Okay. But she's out in Bithlow, and she used to be a school teacher, and she used to teach these kids who are living in the camps in the woods. Wow. And so now she's with the churches out there. So we're going to go through these churches to deliver these Dang. goods to these people. That's rock and roll. And so anything, somebody can even come here and give uh, shoes. Yep, they already have. Socks. They already stopped by and dropped some off. Socks and shoes. Socks and shoes. And we also have two donation drop boxes at Galactic G and uh, Grape and Grain. Wow. Business is all, Congrats, business dude. Is all over I, jumping in on it. I love, the, I, I love the philanthropic uh, part of this yep. whole thing because, like Frankie and I were talking about, it's always something I wanted to merge my little effort into and maybe never really got, you know, like, hey, this is what we want to do because we've always done free community. You know, it's never never been about charging people or making money, but it's always been about amplifying what, what people are doing. We're giving you proverbial socks and earmuffs yes. and shoes. <laughs> and do people don't wear earmuffs? No? Nobody uh, knows. We're all in Florida anymore, here. Not uh, not uh, we're all in Florida, so we don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe it these... feels like we're wearing too much clothes already right now. <laughs> well, right, right now. You, you take know, more clothes off is you know, what I would it, have. It's going to drop. That's why we do this because it's like, it's like the little, little time we have with the cold weather. Yeah. Nobody's got that. But every day you see people without shoes or socks. So, sure. so we, we, we talk about that as just what a nice warm pair of socks does for any type of weather and just a yeah. nice, nice pair of shoes. It gives you dignity. It, it helps these guys. And there's, there's no, there's no uh, set way we do it. It's just if yeah. someone's in need, we give it. Yeah. This is right back out to the streets. And it is. This is an organization. We, although we love organizations and we have some people joining in on us, uh, but every year now more and more because they see the goodness of it. But it, when, when it boils down to it, it's just whoever's listening to it out there right now. You want to give? Do it. Giving yep. is easy, right, Diz? Just let it, let it rip. That's Giving it. is easy. There's no, 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 no politics. No uh, politics. As we were saying yesterday. As let Frankie it let it would say, yeah. Well, you uh, anything else you want to put a call out? You need more stuff out there, uh, slacks Tr- and trousers. Right now, I trousers need, right and now shorts. I need trucks uh, and cars to take us away from today. This is this <laughs> you is, this is the week the week before yeah. that Maxine has invited us to do this thing. Yeah, and I said Diz, and the official. This. The we're, we're getting children's shoes. We're getting amazing stuff, Dizzle, already. And the official uh, drop point is next week, <laughs> right? At, at Lake Ivanhoe. Are you even yeah. going to need to do that? That's great. You're going to have it's so much stuff to give people. Pack. You're going to have to, like, open a store just to give the stuff out. We're, we're calling it, like, the one-two punch next the week. The free it's store. Three o'clock during the day at the lake, as we normally do at Lake Ivanhoe, Gaston Edwards Park. Bring your blanket, leave yep. it. And then we're moseying right up the street. We're going to stop the stool. We'll stop by Nora's Sugar Shack. She's going to take uh, dog and cat food and things to the animal shelters because she does that. That's awesome. And then and then right up Every- the street to the grape and the grain, Dizzle has taken over the world. We're yes. going to go wild. The, the whole world. The whole world. The, all of it. Of uh, Ivanhood. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the world of I'll Ivanhood. Take it. We'll start Y'all there. have That's taken fine. it over. It's take there. A, start there. That's a good place to start. <laughs> Dizzle Funkville. Dizzle Funkville. Anyway, all right, so what do you got coming up uh, lately? I see, uh, I don't know, uh, that Magic Mike thing, that DJ contest, uh, what happened with that? I saw you, there was part of, and isn't that cool, fucking cool, number one? Facts. That, Facts. He, that he brought that was fucking battle shit. Well, he didn't bring it, it was a radio station. Okay. The radio station, Power 95.3, did okay. that. It's one of the very first DJ competitions that, uh, that I've ever that's heard what I'm ever saying. been a part of in Orlando. Um, so, so, but that was always something you used to do, kind of just impromptu in the club, right? That's kind of the culture of in the club. Oh, here he is. We're going to give him a shot. Go ahead and MC. Correct, Go correct. ahead and yeah, get on the tables. Um, so there was always kind of this, uh, you know, back and forth, uh, just in the whole culture of hip hop music, and uh, you know, even modern music today. You know, you look at DJs, what they were 50 years ago, with they shock jacks on the air. Hey, welcome to the Super Bowl. Hey, come on now. And then now, <laughs> it's like good. a straight up. You did, uh, did that awfully well. DJ <laughs> Khaled. I mean, you know, it, it's the extreme of the DJ. Oh, it's man. amazing how, yeah. how far it's come. Is, at, it it embraces, like, you, you say you're a DJ, but, like, that could mean you're a radio DJ, you're a podcast right. DJ, you're a club DJ, you're a karaoke right. DJ. Like, right. It's so vast. Do you uh, ever uh, take an Uber? 
Oh, yeah. I sure. go into the Uber, and I'm like, right, here's my grandpa moment. I'm like, <laughs> what the hell? You're playing the best music in your damn Uber, sir. I have to compliment you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> it's a whole damn Spotify integration. So the, the, the Uber guy's phone picked up my stuff, right? Is this oh, how it wow. works? Uh, sure. Do you know about this? Yeah, the whole, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole uh, tracking. AI, with you, yeah, AI in your it's brain. all in the background, and it's like you get in the Uber, and it's like, dude, you're playing Queens of the Stone Age. Here's $5. I mean, I almost wanted to tip the guy. I did that the <laughs> other day. I was like, I was like, yo, is this a new album? He's like, I don't know. I was like, what do you mean you don't know? It's on your fucking radio, bro. <laughs> it's on. It's coming from your stuff, probably. Yeah. Anyway, that's Blew what my I, mind. Anyway, uh, but, dis, but dis, one thing called Disco Taxi years ago, a little Disco Taxi thing on MTV. Now, I showed my age. Did you ever see yeah. that? Yeah. The disco, the disco tech. They still call them disco techs on the cruise lines, disco and in, and in Europe, I think. It was, right? a ta- it, was a, it was a taxi driver with the disco lights all. Oh playing. my god! Yeah. Here comes the bounty. Oh man! She's bringing the bounty. I got a hug. More. Excuse me, I got. It's go amazing. Hug. Frankie's so busy; he's got to go keep hugging people. Hey. That's what happens. Nobody's going to be able to see us <laughs> like any time. We're we're going to be just a big pile of clothes. I hope so. Hopefully. And blankets and shoes and socks. I'm ready for a nap. Highly commendable uh, that you've joined the effort. Uh, you, you, uh, you know, go way back to the Art Perigo OG Art Army days. Mm-hmm. You know, um, so I think it's awesome, especially what you're doing here uh, with Frankie. And uh, the fact that people pretty. can That's go see you. You you go out and DJ uh, quite a bit. You got some steady mainstay oh, yeah. places you're at. But where where's some places you play out? People go check you out. Tuesday nights out at the West End in Sanford. That's a big deal. Fridays yeah. at the Grape and Grain. Yep. And then everything's up in the air. You know what I mean? I like to keep my, my schedule pretty open yeah. just in case. Yeah, because people uh, tap uh, your shoulder for bigger events. I think sure. you were doing the Tom and Dan stuff. Yeah, I'll be on Tom uh, and Dan tomorrow, actually. Oh, really? I'll be yeah, going to oh, do cool. a little thing there. And, you were uh, part of the Immerse uh, Festival? Immerse, Immerse Festival, yeah. 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 Uh, you know, Red Bull. We did Halloween this year. That was fun. Uh, you did. That's right. How was that? Amazing. Was that your first year doing that? Yep. Yep. <laughs> They, 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 they said this guy needs to be with us. They said this guy needs to be out this here with us. This guy needs to be up. Doing yeah. what feeling up, like yeah. we are. They welcome out in the me woods. to the woods. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Going all crazy. Sir, so leave your pants at the door and welcome. Take, take yeah. it to the woods. It got pretty crazy out there, I bet. Yeah, it always gets wild. And when he shakes his head, yes, you know that's a good answer. He, got, he doesn't got, even want to give you a... Oh, be quiet. He doesn't even want to answer it. Not, he not, just said, uh, all of yep, our, our faces got the blind just kind of went down. Well, all we have is all audio. <laughs> anyway. Um, and uh, that was this <laughs> get, Getting ready over there on the stage, I see a good buddy, uh, Mr. Stephen Crone of uh, Rock, Rocket Fish. Man. That's been a long these time. Guys, yeah, yeah these guys serious. go way back. Yeah, yeah they're, they're serious. They're, they're, they're some badassery uh, up in this place. Yeah. And here come more. Oh, my goodness. See, the, the thing, the, here he is. Here he is. Uh, Frankie Messina is getting more gifts of uh, blankets for people. It is interesting to see people walk up with blankets. Thank you very it much. looks like we're they're coming to us like we're the Exodus <laughs> from Egypt Good or something. Luck. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, we're coming to you with these blankets of. Hope. I, I packed some bread for you too and some naan if yes. you're hungry. Oh wow, that's good. Unleavened bread. We need that. <laughs> I, need, I, need, uh, I need my staff. Part, yeah. part the Maxine waters. <laughs> part, part and, the and, forget the waters. Part the blankets. The piles of blankets that were all stuck back here. Well, part, 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 so. part the 32 ounce mimosas. We'll get, Did you see the mimosas? Oh, there? I know. They're like right, insane. The time. big jug. The big jug. The tree. Yeah, they're getting ready. They're getting ready to rock it. Um, I want to thank Dizzle Funk once yeah, again, uh, for giving us some me. time oh, chatting with us. Much. Thank you, Dizzle. People go check them out. Grape and Grain, uh, West End Trading, uh, a company in Sanford. Yep. I think I'm saying all yep. that right. All the all the uh, words were right out of your mouth. Dizzlefunk.com. That's P H U N K. Boom. D- yeah. Dizzle, Boom. Just Dizzle, like that. Dizzle to the <laughs> phone. <laughs> dot com. Right. Wow. Well, thank did you I, for having me. I appreciate you. Did I just see you. Dave Siegel? No. All right. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. You rock, brother man. Yeah, you, do. you rock. Always appreciate uh, you guys. Hell yeah. Thank you. Keep us going on that. Uh, oh, yeah. Frankie, now how yes. many uh, blankets uh, would you say are here if you had to uh, make an educated guess? About 150 blankets. 150 blankets. And I started with two. How many shoes and uh, socks and such uh, do you have? I've counted about 70 or 80 packs really? of brand new socks. Oh, socks, my gosh. And some really nice comforters. Wow. And a lady brought in a bag of 10 brand new bras. Okay. You were saying that. Which I'm going to keep mentioning Needed because you have to. We, and we've never really gotten those locks. How do you know they're brand new, uh, though? She then? told me. You smelled they, them. There's <laughs> tags. <laughs> wrapped. No. Nope. And that, bras that's, supposed that's to, slightly bras used, man. Bras wrapped up. What's up? <laughs> So bras aren't so, wrapped so up. Though, about 40, pon- 40, <laughs> pon- 40, pon- 40 ponchos, you know, which. Ponchos, that's a brilliant w- idea. W- which is really fun because I w- once, real short story, once I had a truck full of things and went out to a uh, Paramore district delivering just out to the streets. 
and a cop led me into this lake. And I had a tarp over the truck. And he said, what are you doing in Paramore, of course? Going driving really slow, looking around corners. Of course, he knew what I was doing. <laughs> he led me to the lake. It was on a Sunday. The coalition of the homeless wow. closed. He led me to this lake, and they all started migrating toward the truck. He put out wow. a megaphone. He said, hey, this gentleman's brought you some nice wow. warm blankets. It's be cold tonight. Come get your nice blanket. I had it tied down. Dude. I said, man, I need a knife or something. About 20 switchblades came out, <laughs> and they cut the ropes, and the first thing they whipped was the tarp, and I was kind of under, under my breath going, like, oh, I kind of wanted my tarp. I didn't, nope. I, 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 I didn't bring you the tarp. You ain't getting that. You know, That's a tent. It. That's a house. <laughs> yeah, you're giving it all. Well, you're damn right. Well, they, were I mean, over, they were fighting over the tarp, so they wanted to bring me tarps. You know, that, that would save me from losing mine maybe this it's year. the craziest you know? thing in the world. <laughs> yeah, but. Um, but it was great. The truck was, the truck was empty in five minutes. And the cop said, wow. And I said, wow. And he said, anything she, anything she needs, son? And I said, I just had my Thanksgiving right there. It was great. You would not believe the need out there. The need is, is amazing. There's and, no reason why. Yeah. There's no reason even asking why. You just do it. Somebody, somebody, needs, Especially, a, 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 somebody needs something, give it to them. Yeah. Giving, is, giving is easy, right? There's giving is easy. Giving right. is easy. I love the way you're coining this. You got it. Giving is easy. T-shirts coming to you. Twin going to JB. We are live. Five to <laughs> no, dizzle. Five I don't, to dizzle. I get nothing. I get, I, I'm giving mine back to the homeless <laughs> he, guy. He's actually charging us he's to be on the microphone. I just, oh. uh, yeah, I'm charging you right now. I'm uh, using your image in future <laughs> Disney productions, I guess. I don't know. Um, but uh, that is what we're all about. Yep. Showing some love, spraying some love all over you a couple times a week. Uh, this uh, You're getting an extra little dosing this week. Uh, it's a Sunday fun day spray. And, uh, Wait, are we still we are, talking about? I, I, I don't know. Talking we're talking about. I, I moved He's over into He's spray. Us. I don't know. I'm moving into uh, spray land. No, ah. I, uh, I I think it's cool because too. Like an FDS there's somebody I, or something. I've known for a long ass time, and always when you don't get along with people or whatever it is, you can always find a way to mend fences or, or talk with each other in a civil way. You know, you got to let the the hatred go, right? And so today in the world with things being so left and right, I love to be in this kind of environment where everything is everybody's all together. You know and yeah. It just is so genuine to me, um, it, you know, not only because of the ties and everything here, but also uh, probably because I'm sitting down a little bit lower yeah. than uh, normally. When you sit on a high, high chair, you, your perspective you can see more. changes. Sure. You think you're over stuff. When you're low, 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 you, you have a little bit of a better shot of women's booties. No, of, uh, right, uh, right. of how reality is. Yeah. Women's you, booties. Yeah. And reality is well, oftentimes women's booties. I'm down low, but watching the bags people are carrying down low, and you're checking out butts. Well, no, I'm just down low. <laughs> I'm just looking at what I'm looking at here. I guess we all have a job to anyway. do. I guess we all have a job to do. Can we get Stephen Crow? Dizzle, will you help? Do you know where he went? I don't know who Stephen Crow is. Oh, uh, Stephen Crow. Good chance, good chance <laughs> to is, meet him. He is the brother of John Crow from Game of Thrones, man. What's the matter with you? Stephen Crow. I don't see him. Stephen Crow. We get Dave Mann over, maybe. All right. They may not be nice in a while. You know, All day, right. Let's we'll see who we can get Mitch, over where, here. Thank is, you for is, having is, me. Thank you, Dizzle. Mitch is still setting up. Thank Mitch you, Foster. Dizzy. You rock, brother. Thanks, man. That guy's a rock star right there. Anyway, Mitch, right, up Mitch, next, they're Mitch, saying Rocket Fish is coming up next. There's yeah. uh, nobody up on the stage. We'll grab Mitch Foster and a little while. The shows whoever like we can grab, shows. Mitch Foster. Oh, watch out, D. He's a... Uh, he almost tripped once on my once a, once trip again, wire. You mentioned Maxine almost for tripped. putting this Thank together. You, it's amazing, Maxine. Maxine and Kurt, we love Maxine you Maxine and Kurt, we ne do love you. Neighborhood local spot. Mitch Foster he, of uh, SIGT, shows you, I go to. You got to. it. Number, magazine. No, number three it's magazine a, coming they're out. they're online magazine. Amazing. They're a website. They go cover a lot of shows. And they're amazing Kick because him. they have a quite a story where things kind of fell off and weren't successful, right? And then they came back. He, he he went back and, and re, re re figured out how to make this magazine that was so professionally done, and he's on his third issue. And uh, they get ready. To, he's coming over. Here comes Steve. Hold on, Steve Crow. So Steve Crow. <laughs> Steve Crow. <laughs> Are you doing it now? I think he's going to go. Won't on. you do it? <laughs> come over here. Oh, he's going to test the mic. He's going to test the mic, and now he's going to come over here. He's going to be on my show once again. The love, oh, What's up, brother? The Hello. local legendy Hello. legend, uh, man. Yeah. I could kiss you. I love you so I much. I could kiss you I'm right so, now. It's so great to see you, brother. Uh, you're <laughs> rocking you. out with Rocket Fish. <laughs> Hi. Uh, I love the fact that you're always here for a good cause, of course. What's, Frankie what, Messina. We haven't, haven't seen you in years, and the man. Blankets. Ow! How you are you, buddy? Brought your beautiful baby, uh, family baby. Little Cora. And baby family. Cora. Yeah, that's Nikki so remarkable. Cora. Congrats yeah, on all thanks, that. Man. Great, you. great no, to I see love you, it, man. Dude. Great yeah. to see you. This is a good vibe. You definitely, yeah, it really is. You definitely are a guy, man, that I've known for a long time. And uh, you are always been spot on true. Whether it's 
<laughs> you know, this spot opinion, on, yeah. spot on, yeah, <laughs> you are, you spot on, true organic. You are one of the most organic guys that I know. You've been I was called like, organic. That's I, great. I, well, that's it. Was that little, uh, is that little necklace uh, giving the it away? Koa wood the, little, yeah, oh. got this in Hawaii. Yeah, well, I, yeah. well you, Hawaii. you have been playing here at Maxine's, uh, people, the crowd delights. Rocketfish is now back together, uh, has had some new music out. What's going on Super. with Rocketfish? Give oh, us the we, dope. We actually um, came together to do this because it's really groovy here, and yeah, it's still um, we're still out there figuring out what we're going to do. We have a whole another album ready to. That's record. what I thought. It's old songs that are, they're, yeah, they're old songs. We haven't even pressed yet, so who knows what's going to happen after this? I, I, I miss my rose, but stuff. you know what? Being a daddy takes precedence right well, you, now. You got to get me the new stuff. I'll get you, you the new stuff. This man. kid will be in college, and you'll tell, still be telling me that daddy <laughs> stuff. <laughs> I, yeah, okay. We have a new CD coming <laughs> soon. Now, listen, the kids just got to get their second home. And <laughs> It'll be twenty thirty. Here's our latest CD, man. Our know, latest cassette you know, tape. You know, you, you, you're, you're yeah. talk, you, 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 I got to hit it, brother. All right, brother. Thank you so much. You look the same, but rock on, brother. Steve Crow of Clues, Alter him. Ego, uh, yeah. Rocketfish, uh, what, what was it, Naked Gravy back in the day. How many you years talk about duos. Yeah, and this guy plays here at Maxine's on Shine. The guy's a freaking legend. Oh, yep. I love the crap out of that guy. Um, so uh, we're going to actually do what we did last time, right? We're going to kind of cut away, yep. probably come back one more time and then kind of wrap things up uh, from here, but Sounds we're good. we're doing little live broadcast squirts of uh, pre-recorded. <laughs> we're recording. Yeah, I'm gonna go home and publish this later. But uh, um, uh, we thank you for hanging out with us. Hold yeah, on, that's where it's at. Joseph, Mar- <laughs> there we go. Who do we got? Excellent. Uh, Sorry, More music coming up. Sometimes I don't listen to some of our podcasts. Yeah, I like it. No shit like so that. Well, she was an American girl Raised on promises She couldn't help thinking That there was a little more to life Somewhere After all it was a great big world With lots of places to run to And if she had to die Trying she Had one little promise she was Time. I'm not having a good time. 
So why the fuck you listening? Get the fuck off my channel. I'm moving and shaking and candlestick making. Yeah, that's right. Moving and shaking, candlestick making. It is us. That's what we're doing. We're out here uh, live. Seriously, we are totally out here live. And uh, Frankie, you got a hot mic over there. Be careful, buddy. I'm joining uh, Frankie Messina, uh, hanging out here, Maxine's parking lot, <laughs> and we're set up right next to the band. So we're doing a little bit of a uh, live uh, snippets uh, whilst the bands wow. change out. You just heard oh. Rocketfish; they just blew up the joint. Oh. Rocketfish was uh, oh. phenomenal. I'm back. They were phenomenal. <laughs> oh, you are back. Sorry. Okay, yeah, I've been here. It's okay. I was, uh, I was getting a blanket. You were getting a blanket. <laughs> I was getting a blankie. Your your uh, how many bags? How many sacks full of love? Do you have, uh, Frankie, the, the is big, it the, big the official black. sack full of love count? We're going to count sacks of love. There's got to be at least 40. At least. 40 sacks Pat, full this, of love. This is overwhelming. There's Mitch. Uh, we're going to talk with Mitch. We're going to talk with Mitch. Hey, Mitch. Mitch, come over here and talk with us real quick. Uh, Mitch Foster of uh, Shows I Go Shows To. Shows I Go To. Shows I house. Go To. He is doing the sound. He's doing the sound uh, under the uh, My Stage moniker sound uh, provided by my stage it is uh mitch foster from shows i go to how the hell you doing brother hello there mitch. he is there he is hey what's up jb what's up fellas mitchell what's is it here. going on mitch how are you here. man thanks yeah. for having me doing great brother this is my stage is that the name of the company my stage is that you no no yeah. no that uh your shows i go to i'm media. shows i go to yeah. but well, who is my stage somebody else. that was uh the stage company that didn't show up oh <laughs> <laughs> so you ended up doing it technically. yeah so it is <laughs> So we'll scratch that out, and we'll say shows I go to. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Do you do so much on, around on here? On the fly. On the fly. On the fly. In Orlando, so it's awesome to see you do uh, this kind of, you know, providing a little love and support for the community. Shows I go to, what an awesome story uh, that is, because failure is always the greatest teacher. You it know, is, man. Right? Yeah. You, you guys came back way stronger uh, right Thank now. You. Yeah, your presence is phenomenal, and the concept was always brilliant, you know, uh, reporting live from we, awesome shows. Like, these are shows I'm going to, yeah, and man. you guys are kind of by proxy getting the byproduct, which is, and you know, some is, great journalism. This is the magazine. Yeah, man. This is the magazine. This we, is so awesome. We grew awesome. up. We grew up a little bit. Number wow. three. Number three. Wow. Great, beautiful magazine. great beautiful, production. Beautiful, beautiful magazine. It's very beautiful. I see Evan Taylor Jones in there. Yeah. Yes, yes. He's wow. filming a video right now, actually, that I'm supposed to be at. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh -oh. uh -oh. Well, you do a lot of great stuff. But I'm uh, here. I'm, I'm, I'm staying for the, the rest community. of the day. You are. You're here yeah. for the rest of the day. Because well, this, is the they, show, this is the show you went to and you stayed. Yeah. I, I came here, uh, you know, to help out, to set up the stage, to get everything all ready to go. And yeah. then I was going to go uh, film with Evan. But um, oh. they need me. So here I am. Well, that's great. Well, we appreciate you. I'm a servant. Yes, wherever I'm needed. <laughs> there you go. That rocks. Well, tonight, speaking of great music, The Morning Biscuits, John Gallagher, The Mans, Wendy and Steve, yes. The Mojo 2, Dave Hillebrand <laughs> plays in there, uh, Miguel Jose is up next, Be True Boxman, wow. Logan and Vonnie, Megan Navarro, all the inside lineup, wow. the outside, The Lynn Gibson Project, uh, Justin and the Out, Prison yeah. Wine, Sonar, uh, Rocketfish Jesus just got done. Christ. Sonar is up next, <laughs> and then Big Ron Betts is closing everything out. So much uh, music. That's gonna be a wow. that's gonna be an awesome night, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm here for it. Well, you know what's cool is Big Ron Betts is gonna be on our show Tuesday night. Oh yeah. So join us for a session with him. Uh, I, I love to learn about local people. And you, um, you know, like the Orlando culture, man. Looking through this magazine, it's remarkable, dude. You, man, uh, thank you so well, much, Shavy. So give us, well, give us a concept of. Kind of the magazine is it a quarterly production? It's a it's a monthly it's periodical. A monthly. It comes out on the twentieth of every month. Um, we're working on distribution now. We're working on getting as many of these because it's it's all like funded by me. Um, yeah, it's all funded from subscriptions that we get. Um, and it it's been a dream of mine for a, almost three years now, two and a half years. Yeah. And it's something we've been working on to bring to the community, to bring to Central Florida. And there's nothing quite like it. There, there's no magazine that caters to yeah. the music culture and community and is beautifully designed the way that we, I, we want it to be. And I love to see El Camino School in there, man. I love that, man. Well, John Thiessen is the man. You're, yeah. you're kind of manifesting, you know, what, what we've done with this show is kind of that same thing. Like, whatever's going on in the community, let's talk about it. Yeah. Because the community is very rich. In, it is. In, in just 
people and talent. And um, the the more that we communicate with each other and kind of. Orlando is great for cross pollinating. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, you know? and yeah. so something like SIGT Interactive Magazine, which I'm holding in my hand yeah. as a, a physical. Pro- <laughs> Can I have this one? Is this the only one? Uh, no, you, you have I, that one. Yeah. Did I give you a JB Webb sticker? A JB yes, Webb yes, sticker? yes, I, did. I got okay. one. <laughs> All right, good. All right, you got one. Even right trade. There. All right, good deal. Well, then, um, what I want to say, too, is anything you're promoting, you know, moving forward, loop us in, man. We're always happy to help however we can. Thank you so much. You're welcome, man, because, again, your story, you came out, you went, hey, there's Lisa Bates. Lisa Bates. Uh, She is at the coolest place as always. Uh, but when you when you came, uh, you know, with the concept originally, it was a, like a seven headed hydra, like all the. It was like, where's this guy coming from and everything? And then there was a little bit of a kind of a collapse, right? Yes. So just share real yes. quick with us, kind of what happened there. How was that formative to where you're now at now, where you breathe yeah, um, life back into it? It it's uh, it's wild, like. Uh, I put everything I had in the shows I go to, yeah. and you know we got hit real hard with uh, a financial loss, and I was I had to borrow a bunch of money, um, and I ended up getting bailed out by a couple friends, and yeah. then a lot of people in the community. Yeah, a couple friends through like some good amount of money that really like I was able to pay those debts off, stay in Orlando, and continue doing what I what I'm doing, and really bring this whole dream that I've had of. Yeah. producing a magazine to fruition. And, and wasn't that great that you saw the value that you didn't have to tell or bounce the mail over the head with it. People knew the value that you had. And, yeah. we, and we still know it. And you, you, you're you just getting started. because You've yeah, you got so many great ideas and beautiful ideas. And believe me, I'm so happy that you're here and you stayed and you stayed. Thank you, through. Frankie. Because we, you're the man. You know that. We we Frankie love, we is love the man. shows I go to. I'm not the man. Yeah. I love I, you, man. I'm not the man. The, okay. man. the who's, man. Who's the man in oh, this I love situation? That, man. Who's, who's the man? We've been here JB. for hours. Oh, thank, thank more you. people giving more, stuff. More yeah, don't yes. throw them on us. They're throwing blankets on us. Oh no. Oh, bless you. <laughs> thank you. Bless you. Thank you. And she's got a Tom Petty shirt on. She's got yeah. a Tom Petty shirt on as well. Uh, yeah. It's a sweet right. Tom Petty shirt. <laughs> Three-quarter what's, sleeve. What's the best site people go to for shows I go to? Show, websites they go to. What website they go to? <laughs> um, there's, I think you said for, it. <laughs> if you want to check out the magazine, yes. it's SIGTMag.com. Okay. And, of course, the traditional blog that we started about seven years ago now, that's yeah. ShowsIGoTo.com. ShowsIGoTo.com. And that's not going to say too. S-I-G-T-Mag. And sign up for Mag. SIGT Mag stands for Shows I Go To. Um, and if you sign up for our mailing list, we yeah. we make all of our, we do a lot of giveaways. We do yeah. uh, full 40 day music calendars every month. Um, yeah, that's... We do horoscopes, we do local business discounts, there's coupons, there's all kinds of cool stuff. And we send that out just in pays... our uh, email list every every month as well. That's great. See, that's and I, I love that you do this too, because I am looking yeah. at the oh, most yeah. badass yeah. stuff to do. <laughs> the calendar. Yeah. Like, the calendar. Yeah, it's amazing. That's what I'm saying. Oh. It's like all the way up until the end of the year. Man, that, right? thank I mean, you. That, so, like that and, calendar. And, and, and it's not just here in Central Florida. So I'm going to say it's got a world view. Well, the, the, um, this guy's been around. He's, I related and, to like Sapphire Supper Club kind of used to do that every month. They publish uh, a little, yeah. Yeah, their calendar. Yeah, like, yeah, here's right. what's coming up. Yeah. Oh, and that cool. was cool. Yeah, it really was cool because you knew kind of a month in advance, you know, like, hey, what, what was going to happen or what was going to do? And granted, there would be little surprises or, uh, it, it, you know, different things like that. But so in closing with you, uh, what are some of the surprises maybe you've run into going into shows? I know you described something great today. You were supposed to be at a video shoot. You ended up staying here and giving your time a little bit more. Any yeah. other crazy kind of stuff going on uh, with your adventures with SIGT so far? Oh, man, um, all kinds of crazy stuff. Right now, something we're really looking forward to on the horizon yeah. uh, is uh, Welcome to Rockville Festival. Okay. We're going to have a booth there. So we're going to have uh, like a full interactive booth and like none of the radio stations are getting that. No, oh, wow. None of like, like none of the clear wow. channel stations. Like they're, they're wow. going to be mad. <laughs> How did but you finagle that? You, you we, have a lot of great connections. Uh, well, we, we work really, really hard and we're real about yeah. it. We're not just yeah. like trying to get money. Right. So we are able to trade our time like I'm doing today for things that end up becoming 
really valuable. Something and, and bigger. Yeah, scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Quid pro quo. I yeah. think it's like, oh, <laughs> he's getting in trouble. Legal there trouble. We, there it is. Oh, what's happening? Scott Ellis is sitting in for the yeah. for Frankie. What the hell's going well, on? Someone. Scott Ellis. It. It's been a long time. Scott Ellis and I have been on the air. What's it over so twenty over years? Twenty-five years. Uh, what was it? The wig Man. hour. Remember uh, the wig uh, hour? Uh, and she. Wow. And she. <laughs> she. <laughs> I know this guy. She. she yeah, here's Chick. That was our general anyway, manager. He all right. was so drunk one night. Oh, wow. All right. All right. We all right. Well, that, <laughs> Scott Ellis, what are you doing? All right. Mitch Foster, you Thank rock. You so much, Shows JB. I go to. You, you're so welcome. We're so happy to be a part of what's going on out here, outside in the parking lot of Maxine's, inside Maxine's. There's equal greatness. I just saw a squirrel jump from the roof onto a tree, so squirrels are even doing badass shit out here. Uh, it is the Orlando community. Oh, trying to get what? a nut. You know a what? squirrel trying to get a nut, Joel. Yeah, squirrel trying to get a nut. Panther Brunotti. Panther Brunotti, come over here. I don't want to kick you out, but, for, right, but, but for, Panther will kick you out. All right, Cheers. Yeah, we're, Thank yeah you. go find Dave Mann. We need him. Panther, come say hello real quick. Thank you. Thank are you me. taking this? Okay, you got to give me one. I love you. You're a great guy. Panther, hurry up. Get over here, Panther. Come on. You rock, Miss uh, Brunotti. Panther Brunotti. I'm saying it right. Panther Brunotti. Hello. How do you do? Come in, come in. Got it. Got it. Got it, Lord. All right, wonderful. So it's great to see you. Uh, my wife has already bought a bunch of your jewelry. Oh, my God. She's awesome. She, I was like, what do you want? And awesome. She said, uh, both of these things. And I said, well, you can only have both of them. And she's like, no, I can only have one. I was like, you can have both. You can have both. Panther Brunotti, a, a great artist, has a lot of great jewelry. One of a kind pieces like the one you're wearing right now on your neck. Describe to us what you're wearing there, Panther. Oh, this is left over from when I did the Pirates Caribbean movie. Yeah, this is one of the pieces, right? It's a Labradorite. And I have, like, this um, Celtic way of old world silversmithing. Yeah. Yeah. But now my jewelry is available at Kissimmee Jewelers and Diamonds and Gold. Awesome. Very nice. So people can go to Kissimmee Jewelry and Diamonds and Stone. Where's that? Gold. Diamonds and Gold. Where is that? Downtown Kissimmee. uh, Downtown? Yeah, yeah. Like near the Old Town area kind of? Oh, that's perfect. It's such an awesome place. And, of course, you're here kind of whenever they have something going on. You're definitely always here. Are you doing live art here today? As far I as- sure am. I got a what Tom you- Petty going on over there. Yeah. So tell That's us- very nice. Yeah. Tell us, a little, tell us a little about that. What are you doing with our different layers kind of like such as your, your I- style is very... Actually, right now, it's charcoal on wood. Okay. I'm just keeping it. Old school rock okay. and roll. No fancy, no fancy texturing. Hold on, nobody can hear you. Talk into that. Jeez. <laughs> if you're gonna co-host, you get a button on the microphone there. Yes, sir. <laughs> you can hear me. All right, there he is. All right. right uh, anyway, very cool. And today I have like all these Christmas specials going on. Yeah. And so tell people to get people down here because my prices out. are like they're nuts. Right now. And you're yeah. going to be doing that? Are you going to be anywhere popping up before Christmas, the holidays? Not at these prices. Not at these this prices. This is just for Maxine's event. Oh, awesome. Yep. Well, thank you. Awesome. Well, it's always great to talk with you. Thank you, you so much. All right. Be safe out there. Mm-hmm. Keep rocking it. All right. <laughs> you too. The, bye. Thank you, Panther. All right. Bye. She rocks, man. Panther Brunote. Uh, uh, Brunote is uh, a very talented person. Scott uh, Scott Ellis here sitting in. Right. Let's take a minute, man. What, how the hell you been doing, buddy? I haven't good. seen you in a while. It's it good to see you. It's it's been 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 a hot mess. It has been quite a while. We, we have never been on the air uh, for over 20 years. Yeah, yeah. We used to have a couple shows together, mm-hmm. uh, do a couple shows together W-E-L-E-L-E-L-E-L-E-L-E-L-E-L-E-L-E-L-E-L-E-L-E-L-E-L-E-L-E-L-E-L-E-L-E-L-E-L-E-L-E-L-E-L-E-L-E-L-E-
Why is 420 so vocal? Well, right. Isn't that the police call out for something? No, 420 that was smoking too weed. It's not true. It's not true. Yeah, it's not the LA police call for. Oh, I don't know then. I know. I don't know. Why do people make it? It's a good 20th Earth Day, I guess. We'll leave it open. But that came after, didn't it? I think you should warm up at Tucson. And then at 840. Uh Uh-huh. You know, it's it's, it's dabba-dabba-doo time. Dabba-dabba-doo. That's right. It's all degrees of heat by which you consume something with, potentially. Hopefully medical. 420, you cook a turkey for 420. (laughs) No, you cook it at 325. What about those pyramid numbers? I was watching some ancient aliens stuff about the Great Pyramid. The mathematics of it, about the equator, about the moon, about what? About, about the speed of light being built what are into. You? I'm telling you some you stuff. Are you are waving gravy. Chuck Hart? I am you not are waving sorry. gravy I on me right now. I am. I am. I'm, I'm, I'm going to take you deep I'm into okay. the heartlands. Let's broadcast Early some serious stuff. Early we want the NSA to take notes. Okay, we don't want that. <laughs> Stop it. No, you, you, you always... Create a bonfire when we just need a little, little fire, just man. Little Are you still bonfire, man? Uh, yeah. I'm still not a blow. Are you still oh, okay? All right, Scott Ellis, great dog. <laughs> get the hell out of here. Where's David, man? Where you get? All right, it was, it's always good to talk with the great people, uh, and uh, there's a bunch of them here tonight. <laughs> Maxine's on shine. We are in the parking lot. We're going to try to get uh, David Mann over here and then Kurt and kind of wrap this puppy up because we're doing a uh, little kind of broadcast uh, spurts here today, so uh, nothing's really prepared. Nothing's really overly uh, overly put together. Hold on. There you go, Frankie. All right. Frankie's back. Uh, we got Dave Mann. Dave Mann. Hold on. Say something, Frankie. What have you been doing? You walking around? Hugging people. Hugging. Hugging. I've been hugging some peoples. He said he said he, said he needed one second. We need oh, we, he need, needs uh, we need a Kurt. Oh, okay. Kurt. How about Kurt? He's Kurt. Uh, it's okay. I don't want to bother him. Where is Kurt? He's be popping anyway, around. I wish we had a uh a megaphone. What's that thing called? A megaphone? That, yeah. I think you said it right. <laughs> I think you said it right. It is what we need. There's, there's a there's, there's shit ton there's of stuff going on. She may know where Kirk is, or maybe not. Dave, man, they're, they're so busy. This is great. One minute. One minute. Uno momento. Uno momento. He says. All right. Anyway. Hello. So, so we're leaving. So this is amazing. <laughs> this is amazing, I've, man. I, I just had the next group give me their CD. They've been wanting for a while because they put out some new music. Rocket Fish. Yvonne Bell. And Yvonne Logan, Bell. Logan. Yeah. Okay, that's awesome. Do you know him? No. Logan's a classic, classic in town. Him, that's him and his wife. Logan's been around probably since I moved here in 89. Oh. Uh, you remember Bing Futch? Yeah, I do. I always thought I they were the same person. Oh, really? But they're not. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Logan's amazing. Delineate that. Incredible musicians. Uh, they travel around nationwide. Is that who's up more out blankets. here next? Thank you so much. More oh, my blankets. God. More blankets I are coming. It. More blankets. Thank Look you. at that. Thank you, sir, very much. Thank you so much. Wow, that's remarkable. The caring, giving, loving community, Orlando yeah, community. It's overwhelming. overwhelming. We are downtown Colonial Town in a neighborhood bar that is literally in a neighborhood. Uh, Maxine's on Shine, distinguished by being a chapel. It's got a little chapel right. back there, and yep. it was a grocery, mm-hmm. uh, local grocery here um, for quite a number of uh, years. So, and just one simple call yeah, and that out was and has given us 50 bags of stuff. I'm sorry. I mean, it there. is amazing. No, you're right. Just, it is just amazing. Just one simple call. You ask people to give, and they That's bring right. it. And they, 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 right. they don't ask, they don't ask why. Right. They say, they right. well, there's Kurt. I see him There's Kurt. On. We got to wrap this up here. Yeah, you I can't got stay for another set. My, I got I to gotta get, get, get out of here. Uh, all right. Yep. Got some artists back there. That's right. And uh, right now the man. Got someone going to get Kurt. The man's talking to the man. Uh, talking to the men. There's another uh, group ready to come on here in a minute. I lost the little thing I had uh, down here. I don't know what's going on anymore, Frankie. Nobody's saving me. Kurt. Kurt, hurry up. Jeez. Uh, uh, look at Kurt. Look at Kurt. All right, there's Kurt. Is he going to talk to us? Or is he going to talk to them? Uh, he's heading hey, 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 hey! All right, we're over here. We got to get we got to get Kurt. We'll wrap up with Kurt. Forget David Mann. That's great. With Kurt and David Mann. Are they starting to? Play well, I, I don't want to talk uh, yeah. over them. All right. So they're coming up here. Uh, we've got uh, Kurt. Kurt. Hey, Kurt. 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 Come on over here, buddy. Oh, we need your help. We're just going to keep rolling live okay, tape over here. here. Over here. Over there, over there. Right here. Right. Hold on. All right, we got we got the proprietor of the place coming up here. Coming Hello. Dave All right, we're gonna do this live while they're doing it. All right. And uh, 
Right now it's Lonnie and Vonnie. Hold on. Vonnie and Lonnie. I'm, let me get Kurt over here and you got Dave. All right. You, you go with it. Oh. All right. Here we go. All right. Dave. Oh, Thank Dave. You, man. Dave Mann's coming in. Dave Mann over there. Fun, Dave, we got a couple of minutes before uh, we don't want to step all over these guys' uh, routine here, but uh, Kurt. And uh, Dave, man, you guys definitely worked together to make this shit happen, make this come together. We did. Uh, and, uh, yeah. And through all the many trials and tribulations. And, That's right. And all the improvisations. and Yep. It's, we did it. It's we been made amazing. something happen. It's been amazing. And uh, we're so glad that you guys are a part of this community and bring to this community. Thank you both. Uh, but, David, I... Uh, Dave Man Band, uh, getting, a, getting a photog. We got Kurt Earhart over there. We got a random picture guy. Thank you. That's a... And uh, we're getting our pictures taken. Kurt. Hey, y'all, what's the man? Oh, there, there's Gina Man. Okay. And uh, there he yes. is. Kurt the man over there. The other man. The other... Or Kurt is With the only man. one end, mans. not two ends. One yeah, they're we're all mans. No, no, we, 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 I only have one end. That's yeah, right. Yeah, we really are. We're all mans. <laughs> we're all mans. We're mankind. Yes, we're mankind. Yes. We're all kind mans. We are mankind. Kind mans. We're kind mans. It's very smart of you to say that right now. That is so <laughs> manly awesome. of you. That is so yeah, manly. manly. That is yes, great. yes, yes. Uh, but what a wonderful event you guys have put together here. Uh, much thanks and appreciation. The Mans Band. Much thanks Absolutely. and appreciation. Maxine's on Shine. Kurt here. Uh, the half a uh, better uh, wait the other no, you know what I know I'll take that I'll go with it you can you can you can own that can right I, now you can it's already on air it's going to be on air oh, Truth. No. you can say the better oh, half it's on I'm air not, now I I'm think. not trying to start go. fights and stuff no 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 not, <laughs> it wouldn't be prudent right. wouldn't be good wouldn't no, be good no, but no. you guys rock uh, and when you guys you know the community works together it's always awesome so um, thank you so much again for doing all of this but most importantly we're kind of closing out our little thing here any closing words you guys want to kind of bring to the table do this again was Tom Petty just really a real close to the bone kind of a thing well we were talking about like, it's hard to find artists that are like deserving of tributes like this because yeah. yep. you have to have a really deep catalog yeah and you, when you have bands playing all day like and no no, no, no repeating the same no, song well we did we didn't we said that we can repeat whatever you want so, so. but it's still of such a variety even though we didn't put any uh, limits it's on so that right. But, if you don't, but we had a we had a great time. I'm not the musicians, I can say, all had a blast because we get to step get out our side of our own skin. Anytime we can do this is is good times. Yeah, without question. Without so, question. in 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 real quick, kind of lickety split, because I know you got to hit it, make it most legit. Right now, uh, as I sit here and go. I couldn't be more honored and more proud. This is our uh, so this is the second year that we've done a tribute show. Yeah. Last year we did the John Lennon tribute, That's which right. was phenomenal. Yep. Uh, but this year, in getting to talk with uh, the Mans and then the idea that we had, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna date myself a little bit here and say the the Gray Sidebirds are gonna tell it all. The very first rock concert. Do you ever hear of that term anymore? Rock yeah, concert. No, that still the very exists. first rock no. concert I ever went to was 1982. The Hard Promises Tour, or the waiting. The waiting is the hardest part oh, in the wow. Lakeland Civic Center. Yeah. Uh, yeah, back in the day. And Tom has always been the guy that's like uh, just brought it around for me. Yeah. I love Florida rock and roll. Yeah. I dig it. And we're very blessed to have some of the best bands here in town uh, in Orlando that are coming and playing at our place. And You're it just right. seemed like a natural fit that we put this on and do it up today. So well, it was all and good fun. And, you know, and we got, and we got, who we got, we got, we got Frankie sitting right behind you there. Apartment E and Blanket Orlando number eight this That's year. Right. Holy That's cow. Did right. you see how many blankets know, it's and the crazy. bags behind us? That's what we're saying. There's people sitting on the bags in the back like the, they're bean there, bags. There's here. a re reason I rented a U-Haul. I knew, I knew oh, there was, I know oh, I got a U-Haul down around you. the corner. Yeah. There's like a hundred sacks of love all uh, behind us here. There's a big mountain of sacks. Wow. A hundred sacks. Love. Sacks of love. The sacks of love. Uh, coming Was that out a of porn flick in the 1980s? <laughs> I don't anyway. know. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. why we're all here. That's why we're doing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Help out in any way we can. Spaghetti Western porn, I think. And if we can I have some was, fun yeah. while we're doing it, you know, all the better. Yeah, mm -hmm. and exactly right. Yes. The wonderful Gina man coming in. Hello. She's right here. All right, yes, there yes, she is. Yes, yes. All right, there she is. Um, so you guys uh, say, hey, if it's natural, if it feels right, we're going to do it. Because you're right. Tom Petty is definitely a Florida musician. Brought a lot of acclaim here. And, um, you know, his passing was untimely. Um, but yeah, clearly today, this is the right vibe. No, it is. For Maxine Sunshine. It's a beautiful thing. This for Orlando community. This place is packed out here inside and out. So, Proprietor Kurt uh, and Maxine, we love you guys. Thank you so much for you, everything family. you do to keep 
things in this community going in this direction. I'm serious because this is a well, one of a kind thing. The man's thank you both. Thank, thank you, brother. Yeah, thank yeah, you yeah. both. A couple of power couples over here, but uh, it, it, it is. Uh, what's going on? What's going on with you? What's going on with you guys uh, uh, for the up until the holidays? Okay, so uh, in two nights we got Bad Santa and the Angry Elves Hell are going to yeah. be here on Tuesday night. Hell yeah! And uh, going to be a lot of fun here. And uh, for those of you that have not seen the uh, Bad Santa and the Angry Elves, a couple of years ago they did for those about to rap, which was a <laughs> knockoff of for yeah. those about to rock uh, yeah. ACDC. Then last year, uh, uh, shout at the Kringle yeah. versus shout at the Devil yep. with uh, Motley Crue. This year it is uh, it's all about the Christmas tree as opposed to the Joshua tree. Yes. So they're softening there it up a go. little bit and doing a little uh, U2 action awesome. on Tuesday night. Trust and, me, uh, they're not softening I up the thing. I love those guys. Mm. <laughs> the, way, the, the way they move around, no, Dave, I, 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 I would go, I'll go along with that. But we're really looking forward to having them in. Looking forward to a continued holiday season yeah. and knowing that life is good in the neighborhood. Here with all the beautiful people of the city, Orlando, Without and uh, just doing what we do. Without right on. Question. That's where it's at. And while we got your ear, the mans are playing here. We're going to have a Seven. ugly Christmas sweater. Okay. On uh, oh, December twentieth. Yes, oh, they yes. are. Ugly That's right. Bring the ugliest like Christmas wear, sweater. Wear your ugliest sweater. Wear it. Here. Bring it out. out. You know, we all have one, and we all yep. wait all year. Yep. To br- pull pull them out, so we're going to give a fun reason. We are. We are. We're going to break it out. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Well, well, I don't know. We're going to have to give away a prize. Oh, Dave. let's do we're it. Gonna, we're we're oh, going to have to have a it. prize. I like I it. Yeah. Ugliest Christmas How about a sweater. really, really beautiful Christmas sweater? <laughs> <laughs> the ugly sweater? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll talk about that. We'll figure that. it out. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure, figure it out. Yeah. I like it. JB, and oh, by the way, brother to you and yes. yours and all that you do, my man. Thank you. Everything that you bring all the way around and always bring in a great common sound and common ground to everybody all the way. It's a, it's a blessing to have you right here thank today. You. And thank you, brother. And hanging out with us thank today. Thank you, guys. Definitely our pleasure. We always love Maxine's. This, this is the first time, just like you predicted, we've ever broadcasted outside. Oh, right? nice. Yes. Yes. Very first right, time right here by a stage. Right Can I give by. a quick shout out to Jim Bronzo for Second oh, Chance Wildlife Sanctuary? Hell yeah. Right over there. He's got some beautiful paintings. And by the way, all y'all that are out there that uh, you got to love in your heart for the little critters, that kind of thing. You want to give something up? Well, reach out to Jim Bronzo, Second Chance Wildlife Sanctuary. To our good friend Panther, who's over there. And she's knocking out some beautiful paintings and yeah. jewelry and that kind of thing. Yeah. She brings in shows with us all the way around throughout the year, too. And uh, we, we're just really blessed by everybody idea. here today. What do you have over here? This is a unique thing. It's a, like a fry hut. Uh, beer, wine, and fries. You know what? I, did? Uh, I, I invested in a tabletop fryer for the show. I did. Yeah, yeah, we had to, yeah, we had to have it. So, everybody yeah, loves fries. So that, you know what? You know, you, a lot of people, love our, fries. Love, yeah. people yeah. love our chicken and waffles with yeah. sausage gravy. So this year, what do we got? We got a waffle cone, an ice cream waffle cone. Yeah. We're taking chicken tenders, putting it in. Mirapois slow reduction sausage gravy wow. made overnight. Pouring that in top, and oh by the way, some fresh, uh, fresh uh, steak uh, cut fries over there too. Yeah, that kind of thing. Oh, the fries. Remarkable. Yeah. Oh, the fries. Dave, Always a good time. Dave's rider is not an easy one <laughs> to follow. But if he's involved, I'm, I'm all in. I'm signing yeah. in. I got the cooler. I got the fries. I got it all done. Whatever's on his rider, it's taken care of. Beautiful. That's it. Well, as is everything when you come here to Maxine's total class joint. Get the greatest food. Get the greatest entertainment. Uh, uh, proud to say, one of Orlando's finest venues, and we're always welcome here. Uh, we haven't been kicked out yet. Oh, wait, we're being kicked out. No, I'm just kidding. No, we not uh, yet. You will not be. But come check this place out if you have not. You still have got, to load out yet. Yeah, we still do. Help me to load out. You guys are incredible. Uh, we appreciate you so much. Thank you. It is uh, Frankie Messina, Blanket Orlando. The Mans, Dave Mans, what's a good place for people to find you online? Uh, Mansband.com. Mansband. Mansband.com. Mansband.com. And Don't look out, because this girl over here will give a little shimmy shimmy yep. shake right online, right there with it. That's where it's at, yes. Yeah, yes. What are the thoughts on Baby Yoda, since you did the Star Wars cover? Uh, oh, Star the Baby Wars Yoda? Karaoke. I love the Baby Yoda. You Except do? for we can't really call it the Baby Yoda, because yeah. Yoda's not a species. No, okay, that doesn't make like, sense. It doesn't make sense at all. We're going down. And also, it's five years after Return of the Jedi. So, what are we talking about? Yoda has nothing to do with that little creature. Maybe that's how Yoda's uh, existence propagates itself. A new one comes like 45 years before... Have anyway, you seen the ATAT <laughs> Walker right down the street? Yeah, here? The no, AT-AT, have, it's right there. It's right there. You got to see it. And there's and Boba Fett is holding Baby Yoda. What? what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my yeah, God! Right. We got to go see that. Away. Just right. saying. Wow. Everything's right. popping. It is Colonial Town North. 
Representing South, South representing North yes. and South representing in together house. in unity like it should be North and South in unity. Thank you very much. Uh, the JB Rev Show, we're going to sign out now and pay, pay respect to the musicians that are playing their music now. Uh, but again, we love you guys. We appreciate it. The man's uh, Kurt and Maxine. It's all right if you love me. It's all right if you don't. Tom Petty all day. I'm not afraid of you running away, honey. I get the feeling you want. I'm trying to right. harmonize with Kurt. All right. <laughs> Good All right. luck with that. That's a challenge. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a reason why I rhyme, not sing. All right. <laughs> Ciao. All right. You guys rock. Uh, we're going to close it out. Who are they that's on stage now? That's Logan and Vonnie. Logan and Vonnie. Much respect. Glorious. Uh, glorious night here at Maxine's on Shine. Uh, Dave, the uh, man band, uh, Dave, Kurt, thank you guys so much. Frankie, we're closing it up uh, over here. Any closing thoughts, uh, sentiments, uh, closing anything, Mr. Thank you. Thank you, That's no it. doubt. What's your tagline? It's so easy to give. All that is not given is lost. All that's not given is lost. Today, it might be gone tomorrow. Thank Amen. You, everyone, we love you. Thank you, thank J- you guys. Thank you, JB, so much. Without question. It is the JB Rev Show. Live from Maxine's on Shine. We got a big show Tuesday night. Big Ron Betts in the house.
Yeah, hey, 